Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. So Aquarius, I did a reading for you and then I looked over and it wasn't recording. So. So here we go again, the second time around. All right, so some of you could be doing something for the second time around. I don't know, it could be love, it could be career and finance, but I'm hearing that song, the second time around. I don't know who sings it, it's like an old song though. All right, so let's see how, what is going on for Aquarius and love. All right, let's see. All right, that card wants to come out. Judgment, so, um. That is a two card. So the second time around, maybe you have to decide if you want to give something a chance or if you want to give someone a chance. You have to, to decide if you're in or you're out. What are you doing? Because the universe is like you're at a place right now where they want to take you to newness. But if this is where you want to be, you know, free will trumps the universe all day so you have it's like the universe is asking you to make judgment call judgment on this and they want you to be fast about this a fast uh, decision here you already know what it is you're getting um with the old the new it is a mystery but it can only go up from here right the judgment card is also about um decision yeah so you're gonna have to cut something off or cut something out or cut someone off or cut them out. Let's see. What is this about in love? The judgment card. Some of you could be dealing with Scorpio. Something about relinquishing and releasing also. Forgiving. Forgive. Let go. Stop holding on to the grudge. They did it, yes. They they hurt you, yes. They were toxic, yes. They broke your heart, yes, but yeah, the lovers here. So you got to determine if you are, um, for some of you, you got to make a choice of lovers. You can have one or more. Um, you got to determine if you're going to let go of this, uh, like soulmate, twin flame, whatever type of journey here, because it might be that somebody is not choosing the journey. You could be choosing the journey, the other person isn't. Therefore, it's making it kind of toxic, drama, um, low vibrational. What is this going on? What is going on for Aquarius? Yeah. Definitely Ace of Swords, it's, it's like conflict here. Like, you know, this person, on paper, they could be everything that you want, but they're in direct opposition to what it is you say you really, really want right now in a relationship. And you could be at a different frequency, vibing high and attracting better, but you have to determine, are you in or are you out of this connection, this relationship? Some of you are still holding on, even though you say that you aren't, you know there's still a little piece of your heart that resides with that other person or with that person. Therefore, the door isn't closed, it is cracked. And the universe is like, we can't move forward with, with that type of energy because you'll mess up the new relationship, um, possibly going back to the old. So determine where you want to be. What else is going on here? Yes, yeah, Six of Wands. The universe says, choose yourself, bet on you. Don't be involved in something that is drama filled, that is a love affair, that is there's more than one person. It's a competition. It's a fight. Choose you. Choose you. Bet on yourself. Take the high road. Also with the six of wands here. Respect, recognition, the high road. It says strutting off. Strutting off. So that means going the other way. What else do we have for Aquarius here? What else do we have for Aquarius in love? What's going on for Aquarius in love? Some of you just want to win. Get your ego in check. Also, what is what do we have for Aquarius in love? That might be it. What do we have for Aquarius in love? 
Yeah, that might be it. All right, so, wow, the sun card at the bottom of the deck. It's like the universe is shining bright on you, trying to really relate to you what they can bring into your life, but they can't bring it into you if you still if you still have the door open, if you still have your heart open to another person, if you want to reconcile, if you want to forgive this person and come back together. There is no right or wrong answer here, but you have to be definite, uh, be definitive in your what it is you want, because the universe will try to help you. Um, get what it, whatever it is you say you want, but you can't go from I'm done with this person. I want something new to I'm going back to this person and then when they don't show up in the capacity you want them to then it's, I'm done with this person. I want someone new. It's just like you can't be flip flop and back and forth. It's like the universe wants you to be solid, you know, definite about this. Um, because you could have someone new come into your life that brings you a lot of happiness and contentment. If you don't know how to get over this person, do know it's going to take time. It's going to take a consorted effort. Like you're going to really have to put effort into getting over them. Stop holding on to things, uh, physical things, emotional things, whatever. Let go completely, especially if you feel like this is just never going to turn in your favor. If you're still waiting for it to turn in your favor, then admit that to yourself. Admit that to yourself. So the universe can help you there, you know, but, um, the lying to yourself in, in, in maybe even other people is just not healthy. And it puts you in a place of stagnation where nothing is moving. All right. Um, let's see what's going on for career and finance for Aquarius career finance for Aquarius career and finance for my Aquarius. All right, the chariot card. Some of you got some goals, baby, and there's some short-term goals. So you need to do what you need to do fast and in a hurry, and you need to be focused. So some of you are kind of just focused on that, you know, kind of um, self-centered right now, just taking a self-centered approach to career and finance. You really don't have time for love for some of you with the chariot card showing up, or you're not giving a lot of time to it. You're trying to get something done and um you just don't have all all the day long all year long to get this done so you know that you have to really devote yourself to this therefore maybe devoting yourself to another person place or thing or other people is just not an option right now not if you want to see success there could be some hurdles some obstacles in your way you need to be up for the challenge and you can only be that way if you're focused yeah, it's like you're trying to get something done quick, fast, and in a, in a hurry. Life is moving fast at a fast pace. This is fun. This is spontaneous. You, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. It says finish what you start, okay? That's what the Knight of Wands does. Yes, he does come in really quickly, and he can leave really quickly. But one thing the Knight of Wands does not do, any of the Knights does not do, is leave a job unfinished, unturned, or, um, you know, uncompleted, incomplete. Um, that's what they don't do. So the Knight of Wands is about getting something done quick, fast, and in a hurry, and maybe even moving on to the next thing or um, just allowing for growth to happen there. But um, it's like you have to be maybe around the summertime, spring, summer, maybe around um, Cancer Leo season. It's going to be really busy for you. Um, you're trying to bring something into fruition. This is like maybe a, an entrepreneurial type of endeavor here. Maybe that's your launch date. That's when you'll launch whatever it is you're doing. Let's see what else is going on for career and finance. Whoa, you on fire, Aquarius. Knight, um, excuse me, Nine of Cups and the King of Wands. So this is the boss man, the leader. He delegates. He has people under him or she has people under him. So you got um, fire here. Two of the four cards are fire. So it's like you're really trying to get something done in a short amount of time. You know, you're trying to get a lot done in a short amount of time. Nine of Cups, this could have something to do with beauty, fashion, luxury, or luxury item, or something of that nature. Um, it's not a necessity. Maybe you are um, embarking on that type of business where it is a quote-unquote luxury item here that you sell or a service that you offer. Um, it looks like it could be very successful. You're going to have a lot of luck, okay, with the King of Wands showing up, unexpected money. Um you're once again focused and directed and then there's also psychic or you know intuitive uh nudges that you will get from the universe this is somebody ambitious this is somebody um they see the vision they have a vision um, they go after their goals 
Let's see, what else do we have for career and finance? Can't make this, you're the ace of pentacles, a new start of a business, wealth happening for you. But again, the beginning does not determine the end. You're gonna have to be committed to planting the seed growth here. Um, this is realizing that your dreams can come true. This is self-actualization too. This is getting a lot done by way of your hand. You actually did it. You actually manifested. You actually, whatever it is, it is whatever it is you did. Um, this is psychologically knowing your potential. Maybe you never really lived up to your true potential, but now this is really going to bring in psychologically. Like you're like, wow, I actually did this. I am actually a, I can actually do whatever you fill in the blank um and you're really going to recognize your potential maybe other people saw it in you but you never really 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 honed in on it for yourself yeah you're gonna have to make some sacrifice i heard it's gonna be a lot of sacrifice of time so maybe people will be pulling at your time or wanting your time you're not going to be able to give that to so many different people because this thing here this project here it looks like it's going to be very successful and it's going to take a lot of your time a lot of your energy you're going to have to be focused here therefore the sacrifice will be time here um also it's like you see something from a different perspective too because you had always been asking yourself well why haven't i had what i really wanted in my career or my finances and you turned it on its head here and now you're saying well I didn't have what I really wanted because maybe I wasn't as devoted dedicated maybe I gave up too easily I didn't finish what I started I don't know whatever your issue was or is you're fixing it you know you're seeing something from a different perspective therefore success the initial stages of success will be had or can be had because you see something differently this is beautiful Aquarius Wow, I just put the hangman down and then who is under the hangman? King of Pentacles. You're going to be making money in your sleep, Aquarius. There's a book, I forget the name of the book. It says, you know, you've made it or you know, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing when you can make money in your sleep. Okay. Um, so it's like, you're going to be making money in your sleep. Money is just coming to you. Um, and you know, that's just a saying money in your sleep. You don't have to necessarily be sleep, but you don't necessarily have to be working so hard. The King of Pentacles doesn't work hard for his money. Now he makes good choices, decisions, uh, especially for the whole, for the corporation of, um, but he isn't sweeping the floors and washing the windows. See now, he used to, because he understood that that's how, you know, that's the way to get to the King of Pentacles. But this isn't a person who's doing the day to day, the in and out. This is someone who is now, you know, um, they're, they're the big boss. You know, they have paid their dues. This is not an energy that comes overnight, Aquarius. Do keep that in mind. Um, it looks, because look, Ace of Pentacles and then the King of Pentacles. So it's going to take some time. All right. But it looks great. It looks phenomenal. All right. I'm going to leave you with, um, where are we? Okay. I'm going to leave you with a soulmate card for love. So some of you is like the universe is saying, look, stop lying to yourself and stop lying to us. If you still want this person, it is okay. If you're not over them, that is okay to go through the grieving process or try to make amends. Whatever it is you want to do, free will does not, um, free will trumps the universe. Whatever it is you want to do, Aquarius, and there is no right or wrong. No one can condemn you for wanting to be with someone. Uh, it is what it is, but you really have to close the door and don't play games with yourself first. Don't play games with yourself, you know, because don't lie to yourself because um, you actually think that you're getting away with something when you really aren't. All right, let's see what the soulmate cards have to say. Right, souls that belong together, belong to each other, will always find our way back together. So for some of you, you will get back with someone or you want to get back with someone. Um, and for some of you, all you need is to believe in yourself. Okay. You just need to believe that you can have something better, something different. And that is what you're going after, but you need to be honest with yourself because that's when the action really starts to happen when you're honest with you. Okay. Um, yeah, everything you need, your courage, your strength, compassion, and love, everything you need is already within you. You got to be honest with you, Aquarius. And for some of you, you feel like somebody is your twin flame and you want them back. And that is okay. Because some of you are saying, I have found the one that my soul loves. And that is okay. Um, it might be a challenge, but it is okay. Go through it. See what it, how you come out on the other side of it. 
Um, let's see what else do we have for Aquarius. Uh, we're going to pull three cards from the crazy deck. I'm going to name this the crazy deck. Okay. I don't know. That's probably not the best name, right? Hard to handle. All right. So maybe some relationship was hard to get a handle on. It was always just up and down or it was slipping through your fingers. Strong. Um, yeah. Security and um, yeah. All talk and no action and fear. You need to come out of fear here. Let come out of that. Uh, March could be significant. Yeah, some of you just stuck here. Something is not moving because you're stuck and you're not being honest with yourself. Um, you're all talk and no action. Maybe you say, I want somebody new. You don't do anything to get anyone new. And all you do is look at tarot card readings about old people. It's okay. Just be honest with yourself so that you can start to make moves here. Um, security. Maybe you feel secure with this person or you feel like you want this or this was your security here and it's fear to let it go um, and you feel stuck or you are stuck or somehow um, you're stuck on this person or you just feel like you can't move away from this or this person is keeping you stuck. March is significant for some reason. Uh, maybe this will be the month that you make significant change within your love life or you go after what it is you say you want or you leave whatever it is you, that doesn't serve you behind. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's like, I can't make this stuff up. It's like the universe is saying, is saying that this is, action is suspended because you need to determine what you really want. This person may have been unkind to you. Maybe you were, maybe they were all up in your business or they told your business. Yeah. Um, or they're all up in your business now. you want you want this person to be loving you want them you want this some of you want this person back and that's okay um go through it the only way through is through so just go through it stop holding back go through it imagine if you just allow for things to happen if you reach out first and you see where it goes maybe it goes somewhere maybe it goes nowhere but maybe you get the chance to close the door or open it and keep it open for a lifetime. You just never know. But holding on and holding back and waiting for it and this and that and blah, blah, blah. It's just a roundabout. And we're keeping the energy and the, the tarot card reading stuck because some of you are kind of flip flop. So I don't know. That message is for some of you here. And some of you want your person back and that is okay. And that is not, um, you know, a slight to you. You can do whatever you want. Um, and I wish you the best. Uh, get your own personal reading, Aquarius, especially about this new business, this new opportunity, things looking up for you. Um, if you don't know if you should go through with this soulmate type of connection here, because it's been kind of turbulent. It's been crazy. It's been up and down. Um, you can get your own personal reading and we can pull the energy for you. Um, you can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then also, um, Aquarius, if you feel like you took something from the reading, you could give back. You could buy me a coffee. The link is below. If you want to give back to the reading or give back to me, or if you want the exchange to happen, you took something from the reading and now you give back, go ahead, buy me a coffee. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.